For the pinwheel blocks, we are going to have, um, we're making a couple different colors. So I've got all my backgrounds cut. And the first thing we want to do is draw a line from corner to corner on the wrong side of the fabric. This will give us two half square triangles for each, each of these. And um, right now I'm making two blocks. So one is going to be pink and then the other one is going to be blue. Now that we have our lines drawn, we can go ahead and place right sides together, one of the backgrounds with one of the pinks, and then follow that with the other fabric that we're using. Make sure that they are right sides together. And what we're going to do is stitch on both sides of the drawn line and then cut on the drawn line so we can have our two half square triangles. Now that I have these all sewn, I can go ahead and cut on the drawn line. And this will give me two half square triangles for each square. Once they are cut apart, what we're going to do is open them up and give them a good press. We'll want to press it to the dark side. That hides the uh, seam and the fabric. After we have these all pressed, we're going to go ahead and trim them up to the size that is mentioned in the pattern for this block. So now that we have them all pressed, we're just going to use um, a ruler to square them up. I'm using my block lock ruler, which works really well. We're gonna repeat this process for each of the blocks that we have cut. Once the blocks are all trimmed, what we can go ahead and do is lay them out. So you just really want to watch your pinwheels and make sure that the half square triangles are kind of in the right direction for it to spin. Since I'm doing two blocks, I can go ahead and lay one right on top of each other. Um, Sometimes this helps when you're sewing them together to keep things straight. All right, so I'm going to sew these two together and these two together. And um, once you have those two rows sewn together, you can go ahead and fold it over and line up that center seam. Make sure that you have all of that bulk going one direction or the other. They need to be going the opposite. And then they'll kind of lay flat, flat and nest together. Put a pin in there if you need to secure it. And then we're gonna take it back to the sewing machine and we're going to do our last seam um, across the top. Now that I have both sewn, I can go ahead and open it up and give it a good press. That center is going to be a little bulky um, because there's a lot of fabric there. So just give it a good press to let it lay down. And then repeat it with the second block or as many as you are making. So that is how we make the pinwheel quilt block.